Hi, I'm attorney Chris Reich, and today I'm going to answer the question, do I have to respond to this photo enforcement ticket? Short answer is, well, probably not. So when you trip a photo enforcement device, you're probably going to get a ticket in the mail a few weeks later. Um, basically, cities have 60 days from the date of the violation, the date you trip that photo enforcement device, they have 60 days to issue that ticket. If they don't issue a ticket within 60 days, they're not going to issue one. So sometime in those 60 days, you get a ticket in the mail. It's got a lot of coercive language in it. You know, you have to respond. You have to, these are your options. You have to do this. You have to do that. It's really worded in such a way that uh, to scare you a little bit and make you send the court some money. You have no obligation to respond to that initial mailing. They have to serve you with that ticket. Service is, is another way of saying they have to provide you formal notice of that ticket. And until they do that, or until you waive service, you have no obligation to respond to that ticket. Now, a good rule of thumb is if you get a second copy of that same ticket, by any means, shows up in your door, somebody delivers it to your house, comes in the mail, that's a very good sign that the court believes you have been served and you need to take action. Otherwise, a default judgment is going to be entered against you. Could be fines, could be a license suspension. So. In short, that first ticket that you get in the mail, you don't have to respond to unless you have waived service or when you've been served. And we have another video that covers service and we also have a lot of detail on our website about these kind of tickets that you can check out and get some more details about service.